pro tip number one through ten. Get the sword. Your game goes up like a thousand percent. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonic Cap First 30, where we take a blind, unbiased look at a game you probably, well, in this case, I think you probably have heard of it. Uh, and we're playing it on the Switch, obviously. It's Cadence of Hyrule, just came out today. Not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right into it and check it out. I hope that this is great. I uh, played only a little bit of Crypt of the Necrodancer when that came out. Duh, duh, duh. With a broadsword, you can defeat three enemies at once and strike enemies around corners. Can I move? Okay. So you can also move with the up, down, uh, left, right part. These, if you don't want to use this. And I think that will be easier for me. Because trying to just tap it with the, um... Trying, I'm sorry. This actually does require a surprisingly large amount of focus. That intense music has stopped because the enemies are gone. Now you can move as fast or as slow as you like. You can see these weird portals. You can see my friends inside of them. They're sleeping. If anyone who can figure out what's going inside of Hyrule, it's Link and Zelda. But these portals are only one way. Are you going to visit Link or Zelda? Hell no, I'm not visiting Link. Goodbye. Zelda, let's go. What's up, everybody? Can we push these out of the way? Don't you think it's a little weird that I just dropped in on your house? Aren't you a little curious? Aren't you a little, like, who are you? At first, I was really alarmed from the sky, but then I decided it's fine that weird strangers just fallen into my house. Okay. Hey, Zelda, wake the fuck up. That flash! It looked like the Triforce. I knew it! Thank you for helping Zelda. She's been asleep for a while, so I'm going to stay with her to explain what's going on. You should try to find your way home. Sounds like you're going to be busy for a while. I'll be around looking for a way to get back to my world. I hope to see you again. Okay. Oh, now we're... Oh, I see. We just switched. I was like, oh, my player just disappeared. Can we... I'm not sticking with the beat until I get in that room. I should probably just, you know, work on my actual technique. Okay. So you can just sit in front of them. You don't actually have to jump. Looks like you're missing quite a few beats while you're moving around because you're real bad. You can switch to fixed beat mode to make things easier. Your movement is unlocked from the beat. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I don't want to. Just stop helping me understand that I'm bad. Do you remember Octavo, the musician who put you to sleep? While you were sleeping, he locked up your father and sealed off Hyrule Castle. The seal can be beaten only by besting his four champions. We need to travel and find those four champions, sure. Okay, still still don't have this down even the tiniest little bit. Oh, God. Oh, I have a little dagger. Okay, I died again. You know what? This may not be the game for me. You've left some fragile gear and rupees behind, but you still have the rest of your items. And in the special shop, you can spend your diamonds to buy something when you return to Hyrule. Okay, I only have one diamond. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. Fuck! I thought he was gonna jump again. This is the worst. Maybe I should just play with just one stick. Paying attention is not my strong suit. I don't know if you've noticed that. Come on. Diamonds will drop only when the last enemy on the screen is defeated. Unlike rubies and keys, diamonds won't be lost when you get a game over. You can spend them at special shops. Okay. Okay, so this area is completely clear of enemies. Let's just go down here. Okay. This, we, we're gonna figure it out. Ow, he goes diagonally. How are you supposed to know that guy goes diagonally? Probably should have just paid attention. He probably did it like right when I, um, right when I got on the screen and just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I have no health again. That's good. Have I ever told you guys that this game is extraordinarily hard? Doing all of the things at the same time, trying to do movement and, you know, keep you, keeping your character moving. Because once you stop moving, 
I'm pretty sure you lose whatever bonus you had. Okay, now I can just kind of walk around. I I need I need hearts. Oh, stop doing that. So that guy goes I don't know. Let's just continue this way. Oh god. Ah! I will never get past the first screen. I will just never get past it. One day. One day! I swear to God, one day! Okay. You know, hey, you know, rhythm games just aren't for everyone. I gotta stop moving into them! God, I'm so mad! If you've never played this before, it's so hard to both move with the beat figure out when you can attack people, figure out their attack patterns, and then move in a way that you can... And I know that you're gonna watch this and you're gonna be like, wow, Sonicat is actually the worst player of this game of all time. You'd be right. I swear to God. I swear to God. That soldier's gonna be the hardest enemy in the game. He's gonna be harder than bosses. Is that first opening... I wish I could move twice as fast. But you can't do double time. Please move off of the bomb! I put it down and just tried to get away, but because I was off of the beat, I couldn't get away. Cheaper shops. Wide attack. I think I would just lose any of those that I bought anyway. So it just kind of wouldn't matter. I saw him throw his hands up and I just moved right into him. Just, just right into him. I didn't realize he had his arms up. So I've died about 12 times now. We're gonna go ahead and buy, buy a sword. Um, I mean, I'm gonna lose it the second that I die, which will be instantly. It's actually better with the sword. I'm definitely doing better with the sword. Still gonna die, though. I haven't died yet. But don't worry. Don't you guys worry. I'll be dying shortly. I actually... I actually made it out of the first level without taking damage. Holy shit, it's a Christmas fucking miracle. Now time, time to go die. The sword does make it way easier though. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so pro tip number one, get the sword. Pro tip number one through 10, get the sword. Your game goes up like a thousand percent. Some chests like this one remain locked until you defeat all the enemies. The longer you defeat enemies without missing a beat or taking damage, the more power stored in the beat indicator. If you keep your street going, enemies will drop more diamonds, you'll regain stamina more quickly, and enemies will drop better loot. Well, uh, I'll never be doing that. What? That guy hit- Ah, oh, the very last enemy hit me. Hey, it's down Pierre! I found someone sleeping outside the village and gave him a bed. 
If we only had a hibiscus potion, we could wake him up. All right, do any of these gravestones open, Dom Pierre? Please move. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, that's a hole. Okay. What? Oh God. Stop. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. I, I had no idea how those enemies attacked. Okay, I can buy stuff. Let's just keep jumping for a second. I need a shovel, but I don't have nearly enough ropes. Easy. Po! Okay. It's we did barely took any damage. Okay, I'm glad that we're actually making some progress in the game. We're just unleashing all the enemies. That's fine. Everything is fine. We can buy a shovel now from this guy down here, which we are definitely going to. That looks like a boss room because it has a boss symbol. Can we dig now? I'm really hoping that was the... Oh yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, okay. Oh God. I don't like that. He has his sword out and that makes me feel very uncomfortable. Okay, we're just gonna hop around the room. No, one of my items broke. Be sure to keep an eye on the durability. Well, as long as it wasn't my sword. Oh no. Got him. Oh my God. Woo. We, we did it. <laughs> Let's just quit now so we don't actually lose a real battle. Oh, our shovel broke. What a dick. I can't dig walls anymore. I also don't have a big key. Okay, well, we're gonna go in here now and we're gonna probably die. Yep. He attacked me at the same time I moved. Balls. Okay, I think actually here's a good a place to, to wrap this up for now. Woo! 
because before I have an aneurysm from trying to play this. So, what I like to do at the end of the first 30 is kind of wrap it up, point out some things weren't as obvious if you didn't have these in your hands. This game is great. This game is a lot of fun. And if you had played Crypt of the Necrodancer, then you already know that this is going to be a great game, right? For me, who never played a ton of Crypt of the, Dan Crypt of the Necrodancer, there was a huge learning curve at the beginning. But as soon as I kind of got into it, right, it kind of all started to come together. It's still hard, but the feeling of satisfaction that you get when it works, when like you're with the beat and everything is working out, is really, really good. And so, yes, there's a bit of a learning curve on trying to do all the beats and moving and hitting enemies and learning their patterns. Yes, that's tough. And for certain, it was frustrating at the beginning when I died like literally 16 times. Um, but once I got into the dungeon, once I was kind of figuring out, once I got the different weapons and stuff and realized that you can get more health and, and things like that, this is a really good game. And it is really fun. As long as you're better than I am at it, it will be probably that much more fun for you. Like at least two or three times more fun. So the takeaway here is don't be awful at rhythm games and you will have way more fun playing this game than uh, I did. Even though I had a lot of fun and I'm still gonna play it. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'll figure it out and I'll get better at it. And you know what? I'm not even going to be mad. I'll, I'll just be real good at it at one point, maybe. Probably not. Uh, anyway, so we're going to wrap up there. Feel free to tell me how bad I am in the comments. That's just fine. I accept that. I am really very bad. And uh, if you want to talk about this, hit me up. You know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, everybody, burn bright. Oh, boy.